The environment out there is tough, we know that. And if you look at the stuff that's made it tough, it's stuff that we can't do anything about. It's Lehman Brothers in 2008. It's the second tier finance market in New Zealand in 2007. It's the European debt crisis in Spain and Greece, and there's more to come there. It's the, U the US economy. Now, is there anybody in the room here, please just show hands, who can do anything about that stuff? That's lucky. You were going to ruin the rest of my speech. <laughs> we can't do anything about that stuff, right? And yet it's affecting us, it's affecting our business, it's affecting our clients' businesses. And so we have to be really, really good at what? Anybody? If, if the business world is getting us down and it's knocking us around and the cause of it is things we can't control, what do we have to be really good at? The stuff we can control, absolutely. And so what I'm going to try and share with you today is some ideas about the stuff that I've done and the stuff that you can control to help your business be better, but that not only that, to help your client's business be better. Because you guys have got a challenge about the future of your industry, your sector, your service sector. And you've got to start adding a lot more value to your client base, would be my guess, if you're going to be really successful. And it's not difficult stuff. And if you go back to Yellow Pages, guess what? Two years after I arrived, we were a finalist in the best places to work. The company that couldn't recruit, the company that couldn't even get a recruitment company to work for them was a finalist. You know, if recruitment companies don't work for you, you know you're in trouble, right? <laughs> that company was a finalist in the best places to work and won the best new entrant with more than 500 staff. We took our customer service rating from 8% to 91% in 12 months. When the world advertising market dropped 25% in 2008, 2009, we maintained revenues and grew market share. And eventually, if you've read the papers, you'll also notice that we managed to restructure that debt. And the banks wrote off a whole lot of money, and the business is continuing to operate today. And we did it using simple stuff. You see, if you think about the things we can control, everything we do in business falls under just one of seven headings. And I worked this out because once I sat down and just wrote down all the things that I'd done in business. And I ended up with 20 pages of one-liners. Everything from raising money for a surf lifesaving club, to doing a patrol roster for a paid lifeguard system, to um, negotiating a lease on new offices, to restructuring a management team. Just one line for every single thing. And I had 20 pages of one-liners, 30 items per page at the end of it. And then I went down the margin and started categorising those things. And I recategorized and categorized again until every single thing on those 20 pages fitted under just seven headings. And they go like this. Number one, dealing with change. Number two, leadership. Number three, finance in your back office. Number four, your product or your service. Number five, your sales and marketing function. Number six, your people. And last but most certainly not least, anyone? Customers. Some of you are writing it down, so I'll go through them quickly again. Dealing with change, leadership, finance in the back office, product or service, sales and marketing, people, and customers. And everything we do falls under one of those headings. And the launching pad is this thing called change. 